Now that your schematic is completed, you can launch the simulation mode to see how the circuits behave. Left click on the green icon to launch normal simulation mode. In the simulation, you can see the flow in lines, readings on measuring instruments, movement of components. Left click on the lever to change position of the four two-way directional valve. Hold down the lever since the valve is spring return. To slow down the simulation, select the slow motion button, the yellow triangle. You do not need to stop the simulation to change simulation mode, simply interchange between normal, slow motion, and step by step. Step-by-step -step mode freezes the simulation in a certain frame. Move to the next frame by left-clicking anywhere on the diagram. You can also control the valve by clicking directly on the spool. Red check mark indicates the valve is locked in that position. To unlock, left click on any command. In this case, spring return or lever. Access cross section views on components by right clicking on component and selecting animation. Only components in red have cross-section animations. See miscellaneous category in hydraulic and pneumatic libraries. You can dynamically change the parameters by left-clicking on some of the components. You can change the displacement of the pump. See how the reading on the flow meter changes. Simulation reflects the higher extension speed due to higher flow. Stop simulation using the red stop icon. By accessing the options window, you have access to a variety of options regarding Automation Studio. Access the hydraulic workshop branch in Diagram Simulation. Feel free to change the parameters to enhance the visual aspect of simulation. Link width, color of pressure lines, Change in line width is now reflected in the simulation. Click here to change the line color for various ranges of pressures.